Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily. I'm on location. I'm filming a movie, but <laughs> I've got the news for you. So don't worry. Here it goes. A driver gives himself a tip and a five-star rating. Shocking statistics show that most Uber Eats drivers sample food. And an Uber driver complains about another Uber driver that didn't tip her. It's this week at Ride Share News. Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily and I was reading the news today. A man who attacked a delivery driver was set free a couple weeks ago after having time served. The reason why I want to share the story with you is because there's something that we can learn from this. A guy named Rick Painter from Atlanta was expecting a delivery. She was wearing a headscarf that Muslim women wear to cover their head and she said that once he stood behind her, he took her headscarf and tried to choke her and told her that he was Jesus and that he was trying to help her. We know that uh, Jesus wouldn't do that. The young lady fought him off and he looks a mess. Look at his face. She did really good by disabling this man and, and getting away from him. That's not the news here for me. The news here for me is that this person asked her to go into his home and to put the food on the counter and then proceeded to attacking her. It is an absolute no, an absolute no. You do not go into someone's house at all. It's not your job to do that. Once you step into someone's home, anything can happen. It's not worth the money. So I, I, don't, I don't know why she did it. I'm happy that she's okay, but my gosh, that's scary. Over the past few days, there have been multiple articles released basically saying that delivery drivers, at least 30% of delivery drivers, and the statistics have been different across each article, have munched on some customer's food. Now, they derive these ridiculous statistics from a study that was done supposedly for 500 delivery drivers asking them if they've helped themselves to their customer's food. Um, Number one, fake news. Number two, how are you going to judge millions of drivers against 500 people? Where are these 500 people at? I wasn't asked. Were you asked any questions about this? I think it's bogus and I think it's BS. I'm also a person that uses Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, Seamless, never uh, Postmates because it's too expensive. But I use all of those things. And when my food arrives, it is tied up. It's usually tied up. I, there's never a time really where I've received anything where it was open, where you could reach in and grab anything. And it pisses me off because the media sensationalizes so much. And they just really look for the bad when it comes to gig economy. I don't know what that is. I don't know who decided. Let's shine a negative light on millions of people who are just trying to make an uh, honest dollar like I don't get that I get all the weirdos that are out there that are uh, using passengers and hurting people and all that kind of stuff these people were criminals in their regular life trust me but just this whole painting this picture that all that your delivery driver is eating your food like isolated incidences you know isolated incidences it's not happening it's not running rampant they're not delivery drivers are out here sampling on your fries what's a fries you can buy some freaking fries fries cost like two three dollars Anyway, I'm really pissed about that. There are multiple articles. I will link a few of them below, but how dare you? How dare you AOL? How dare you NPR? How, how dare you Today Show? All of you suck for even running this story. It's bullshit. Sorry, guys. It's bullshit. Speaking of criminals, an Uber driver was caught giving himself a five-star rating and a $100 tip. What's going on, guys? <laughs> They're just people who are going to be criminals no matter what. You know what I'm saying? They just make dumb decisions. A driver in New Jersey asked his passenger for the phone because he said he wanted to make a route change. She said he did something really quick. And the next thing she knew is that he closed the ride, gave himself a $100 tip. Did he really think that no one was going to find out? Like, it's not for you. It's not for me. This is funny because neither one of us guys would do anything so stupid. We wouldn't. Please know that it's very, very easy to get caught. It's just a silly thing to do. I just don't know what people are thinking. Why would he even think to do something so dumb? He must have gotten away with it. Ah, oh, Lord. Question. If you had access to a Pax's phone, would you give yourself a tip or 
a good rating? Let me know in the comments. And now for my favorite segment. You guys know what it is. Is what would you do? It's short and sweet, but it's definitely something I've dealt with. And I'm curious about how you guys feel. So Deborah writes. I'm not going Deborah writes. So true story. Picked up another Lyft and Uber driver last night for a ride home from the bar. Talked the entire trip about driving and telling stories. Dot, dot, dot. No tip. I don't normally ever have anything to say about tips because I do pretty well where I am and get tipped in the app 75% of the time. Not bad. Uh, but I just shocked another driver didn't tip. There are 38 comments here. A lot of folks have stuff to say. And I'm going to be 100 honest with you. I have been on both sides of the coin. And guess what? I've been the driver in the car talking to another driver and I didn't tip. And you want to know why? <laughs> Because I didn't have the money. <laughs> I didn't have the money to tip. It's simple. I, I just don't hold it against other drivers when they don't tip me. I just don't. If I have it, I'm going to give it to you. And if I don't, I can't. And there's no. And it's because I didn't have it. I didn't have the money. I'm driving a car <laughs> to make extra money. And so you can say, oh, well, you know, you should have a dollar or two. I can't count my money i'm using my money for stuff i don't think you should take it personal i really don't think you should take it personal if you're picking up other drivers and they don't tip you uh, you don't know what their financial situations are i mean having to use your own vehicle to do this kind of work it's not that easy it's easy in a sense that it doesn't require for you to be like a you know a rocket scientist but it's not easy for you to get yourself in your car and do this kind of work and deal with the general public and sometimes to, to receive the pay that you're not necessarily happy with not every single ride is a stellar ride the two dollar rides three dollar rides who's got the time who's got the time to be giving money away i mean again you can find fault with everything i'm saying but the bottom line i think that that person probably didn't tip because they didn't have it and i'm not gonna get mad about it hey, what are your thoughts about this letter do you think that she should be upset if you were riding in her car would you have tipped her let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for watching my segments every single week i enjoy bringing this news to you i literally am in this car talking to myself <laughs> so it's like does anybody care about what I'm saying? <laughs> so your feedback and your engagement is really, really important because it lets me know that I'm on the right track and or it lets me know that you guys are actually listening and care about the news that I bring to you every week. So I really do appreciate you that in that regard. So always, always, always like the video if you like the video and leave a comment for me because I definitely will answer. Appreciate you guys. If you guys aren't following Harry, the right shirt guy, please do so right now. There's a subscribe button below. And if you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can contact me on YouTube or Facebook. Peace out and have a great week. Bye.